it's been a while since I've done this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I already um, filled in my eyebrows. I used the um, Kat Von D, what is this called? Brow Struck in Graphite. I wanted to try out um, a powder. I, I know how to use pomade, I know how to use pencil. I always wanted to try out the powder and I heard this was the best, so I tried it out. I didn't film it because this is the only second time I did it. She's a little strong, but you know, We'll make it work. I'm about to just clean it up real quick with the Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer. I just picked this up a couple of days ago in deep tan. So I am currently, I haven't done my makeup in forever. I played around with my makeup a couple of weeks ago, but actually sitting down and putting makeup on, it's been a while I'm currently recovering from um, I had to have surgery I had to have a god I'm gonna say this wrong a um, myomastectomy I think that's what it's called that's a damn shame I don't even know what the, how to pronounce the thing um, which apparently is very common um, a couple of months ago I was not feeling good I had like very very I've, okay first of all I've always had bad periods ever since I was little ever since I first started middle school beginning of high school horrible periods horrible like I used to have to miss the first couple of um, miss school the first couple of days because they were that damn bad I used to throw up I used to not be able to walk oh my god it was so bad like I wouldn't wish it on anybody and I honestly thought bad periods were normal. By the time I went to, um, I think that color might be a little too damn light. Might have to return that. <laughs> She's too light. By the time I got to college, um, it got better. Hold on, let me, I can use this as a eyeshadow primer, but I think this might be too light. It's got my period my periods got better like they weren't I wasn't throwing up anymore I wasn't being tortured <laughs> every month it was like cramps the first day and then it was fine I didn't have any issues and my periods were very short they used to last like three days three four days and then I'm good for 28 days very regular and I, it's just been good, never any issues. Anything that I'm doing, any makeup that I'm putting on my face and I don't say, I'm just gonna list everything down in the um, description box. So that's just how my period has been for the past couple of years. Three days, cramping, keep it moving. Bleeding, heavy bleeding, this might be too much too, TMI but we about to keep it real here because I just think that this is something that we as women, we never really talk about. And it just, it's very common and it's very painful. <laughs> but people think that like we're exaggerating, but it, it the shit really happens and the shit really is that bad. A couple of months ago, I had um, very, 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 I'm gonna use the Huda, boot, Huda booty, Huda booty. Now I know she canceled. But I purchased this before she started doing all that, the fraudulent stuff and the copying and not addressing it, blah, blah, blah. But I already spent my money on this. I like the colors. This I brought this over a year ago, so I don't want to hear nothing. I ain't brought shit from her since, but I like this palette. Um, I'm going to use this color right here. Um, a couple of months ago, I had like severe severe pain like I'm like oh my god what is going on and I'm like it doesn't feel like period cramps because I know what those feel like it just feels like pure sharp pressure and I and this was like a Monday or Tuesday so I was just like whatever it'll go away it has to it has to do with my period so I kind of like ignored it but not really it was just like oh my god I'm hurting so much like my back hurts blah 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 
So the Thursday, a couple of days later, I'm like, yo, this shit is ridiculous. Like, what is going on? The Friday, I um, had to run an errand out of town. So I went with um, my friend. My friend went along with me. We went to eat and we were supposed to go shopping afterwards. I was like, yo, my back hurts so, so bad. I'm not feeling good. And she pregnant, so she was like, well, I'm tired anyway. So we, we went back home and we kept it moving. Flat brush, and I'm gonna use this right here on the end, and I'm gonna just like pat it on my lid. So the Saturday, I'm in the house all day, hurting, like what the? fuck is going on like why am I hurting I took a leave a leave is usually uh, the gel caps is usually go for my period cramps and I'm like yo something is not right like what is going on like it doesn't feel the same my friend had um so I'm in the house all day feeling like shit I'm like oh my god like oh my god what's going on and I ended up just sleeping the whole day I talked to um I talked to my friend and I'm explaining to her what's going on. Mind you, I'm peeing every 15 minutes. I'm like, I keep peeing. Like, I can't even like relax because I'm peeing all day. So I'm like, oh my God, what if I have a urinary tract infection? I've never had one before, so I don't know what it is. So I'm Googling it. I'm like, oh yeah, I think that's what I have. So she's like, uh, my friend called me and I, I called her, I talked, I explained to her what's going on. I was like, girl, feeling like shit, I'm not feeling good, I don't know what's going on, like I think I have a urinary tract infection, she was like, girl, you know, we getting old, like, we, our bodies is doing all types of crazy shit, and I'm like, girl, I've never had one before, she was like, she had one for the first time a couple of years ago, and she said, just drink some cranberry juice, some organic cranberry juice, so I went to Publix, and I brought some cranberry juice, and I drank that, that shit didn't help, Sunday I woke up, in same pain like I could barely walk like I was in the the heat was going um my body temperature was going in and out in and out like I was sweating and then I was cold I was sweating sweating and then I was cold then I took my temperature and my temperature said a hundred thing a hundred degrees a hundred thing a hundred degrees and I was like oh fuck I got a fever so I text my mama I call my mama. Yes, I'm a grown woman, and I still call my mama when I'm not feeling good. I'm like, mommy, I have a um, a hundred degree temperature. She was like, what? Go to the emergency room, you know. I ain't trying to go to no damn emergency room because I ain't trying to spend that emergency room coin. But I'm like, a hundred degrees, that shit ain't normal. So I was like, oh fuck it. So I go to the emergency room. I text my friend. Um, that's in town because I don't have any family here um, and I let her know that like girl something's not right I'm going to the emergency room like I'm still I'm feel horrible I took my temperature my temperature is like 100 degrees so I'm going to the emergency room she's like do you need me to come and I was like you don't have to come right now um, I'm just gonna see what they say but you can just like relax like I don't even know what's going on it might just be a fever so I go to the emergency room they run all these goddamn tests, CT, MRI, all that other shit. I don't know. And they come back and they tell me I got a kidney stone. I'm like, well, how the hell I get a kidney stone? I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. They were like, um, I'm just blending um, what I patted on to my lid. I'm just blending it into that first shade and just blending it into my crease so that it has a nice gradient. Um... I was like, I drink a lot of water. Like, how the hell did I get a um, get a kidney stone? They were like, oh, you know, it's very hot now. Because I live in Florida. Um, this was in August. No, no, this was in July because it was 4th of July week. This is definitely bullshit. Um, she was like, it was um, in August. Um, it's the summertime. Um, people tend to get really dehydrated. Even when you think you're drinking a lot of water. You're not drinking a lot of, um, you're really not drinking enough water, blah, blah, blah. So she gave me some, she gives me a prescription to get for some damn Percocets, which, what, up, what the hell? And um, this something to help me flush out the kidney stone. So I was like, okay, all right, bet, thank you. 
So I got, um, my friend comes and picked me up because they give me some morphine or whatever else they gave me and I wasn't allowed to drive. So my friend came and picked me up from the um, emergency room. Then um, the next morning, I drag myself up even in more pain and I go to the, um, this is a clean brush. I'm just trying to um, blend everything together. And I go to the pharmacy and luckily they fill it within like 20 minutes. And I take my medicine. I don't take the Percocet. I only take, cause I, I, ain't, trying, I ain't about that life. Like I ain't about that life. But I take um, the medicine that's supposed to help me with my kidney stones. So I'm still in pain, my kidney stones. I'm still in pain by six o'clock. I'm like, yo, I can't take this shit no more. I'm like, the kidney stone must be like traveling down the whatever it's down and it must be about to come, but I can't take this pain anymore. So I take half a Percocet, doesn't do anything. An hour later, I take the other half of the Percocet, still doesn't do anything. By this time, my body is shaking. I'm in so much pain. This is like eight o'clock, seven, eight o'clock. So much pain that I just end up like forcing myself to go to sleep. I went, sorry, I can't talk and do the eyeliner. I wake up again at 11 o'clock and I um, still even more pain. So I take um, another Percocet and then I just pass out again from the pain, force myself to go to sleep from the pain. Then I um, wake up at two o'clock in the worst pain of my life. Mind you, I have a very high tolerance for pain. Like, I ain't no punk. Like, I could take some pain and that was the worst pain. When I tell you I was up at two o'clock in the morning, crying my ass off. My body was shaking. I was peeing. I'm like, why isn't this working? What is going on with me? Like, I'm thinking that this is the, the kidney stone passing. And I'm like, something's not right, blah, blah, blah. I'm up for an hour just crying, shaking. I didn't want, I'm not paying for no ambulance. I'm not doing it, not doing it. I couldn't drive because I was hurting so much for me to go back to the emergency room. After about an hour, I, I was like, for, I was just like, I'm just gonna go back to the emergency room in the morning. After about an hour, I um, I um, pass, literally pass out from the pain. It's not even go to sleep, I pass out from the pain. Well, that's the best we're gonna do. That's what happens when you don't do your makeup for a while. Six, I wake up at six o'clock in the morning and I go to, um, I called my fr I called my mom and was like, uh, yo, I can't take this pain. Like last night I had the worst amount of pain of my life. I'm going to um, go back to the emergency room. She's like, do what you gotta do. So I text my friend and was like, girl, I something's not right. I need to go back to the emergency room. Do you mind taking me um, to the emergency room. She was like, yeah, sure. Um, I stopped by before she go to work, take me to the emergency room because it's like literally up street. So she gets there. I get, go to the emergency room. I check in, they run the test, but they run, I'm explaining the pain. This, they ran the test, but this time they ran more tests. They did an ultrasound and then they also did the, I don't know what it's called, but they, stuck something up me and was taking pictures in me or whatever and then I'm literally in the hospital from like 8 till close to 3 o'clock no water no food they wouldn't give me no damn water bitch is thirsty it's the beginning of July in hot ass southwest Florida they wouldn't give me no water which I understand you gotta run all these tests and you want me to be on an empty stomach but still after the test you could at least gave me some ice to chew on um they didn't give me anything um the doctor and the nurse rudely came in the room and was like, yeah, you got a, you don't have a kidney stone, so I don't know if you passed it or, but we didn't see that in there. The only thing we saw in there was a fibroid about this size and you just take some ibuprofen and you'll be okay. This is why I'm like, yo, excuse me? I'm sitting here in fucking pain. My body is shaking. You're telling me to take some ibuprofen and I'll be okay and it's just a fibroid? I'm like, well, what the hell is a fibroid? He was so rude and so nasty and I'm like, well, what is a, and they wasn't even that damn busy. There wasn't that many people in the emergency room. 
I was, and I understand why it wasn't that many people in that specific hospital because they fucking rude. But I'm like, well, what is a fibroid? Because I don't know what that is. And he was like a non-cancerous blah, blah, blah tumor. And when you hear cancer and tumor, you're like, even though he said non-cancerous. And I'm like, what? So I'm like, well, what is that? And he was like, you just need to see your gynecologist. And I'm like, that's what you're going to say is like, I understand that that's not your specialty, but you're just going to be like, just take some ibuprofen. You're going to be okay. I'm hurting and I'm in severe pain. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Let me go ahead and do my face, makeup. I am not okay. And then he was like, cause he saw that it was my second time in there in a couple of days. He was like, and don't come back. I looked at him and said, well, if I'm in pain, I'm coming back. How the hell you tell somebody not to come back to the emergency room and they're in severe pain? Y'all, I was so pissed. It's, I was so pissed. I was pissed. I was like, who says, what kind of doctor says that? I'm like, I have an, an amazing medical history. Like, I've never had any issues except that time I got drunk, fell down the steps, and broke my wrist. But that was my own damn fault. I've never had any issues. Like, you can see in my medical report and all that damn paperwork I had to fill out. Where's my sponge? Um, no, I'm using a brush. When I first got here, I don't have any, I've never, I've been lucky and I've never had any medical histories or any medical problems or anything. So like, I'm not in here to be sitting up in here hungry and thirsty all damn day. Who wants to spend the entire day in the emergency room? Well, I know some people probably do, but that ain't me. So I was just really mad at what he said. I called my mom or I text my mom because she was like teaching a class or some shit. I don't know. And I, and I text my nurse friend and I let them know what's going on. And they were like, oh yeah, it's very common. I also have a fibroids, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, like this still hurts, blah, blah, blah. Basically, I woke up in 12 days, 12 days. I know that's not 12, but just act like this is two, two tens, 10, 10, and 12 in pain. 12 days in a row in pain. Imagine waking up 12 days in a row in pain and you don't know what it is. I eventually get an appointment with a gynecologist. I had to find a new one because I usually get my pap smears with my, I know this is too much information, but whatever, with a nurse practitioner at my um, doctor's office, but I had to get a gynecologist. Finally got a gynecologist appointment a month later and then the nurse practitioner's in there. She explained to me that it was not a kidney stone. It was over ovarian cyst that bursted in me which was causing all the pain which I was just like oh my god like that's what it was I know my mom said my sister had one after my nephew had after she had my nephew but I'm I'm it was an ovarian cyst that bursted and she was like it wasn't a kidney stone so I'm upset because these damn people at the hospital had me taking medicine I didn't even need so I'm like well what kind of shit is that the Maybelline um super stay Foundation stick is bomb, but they played us with the amount of product they gave us. This was some bullshit. They could have saved this little spongy thing at the end and gave us a little bit more product. And I haven't even used this that much, but it is good. So that's when she told me that um, I had to get a, oh, God, I hope I'm saying this right, a myomasectomy. So I had that which I was nervous about because I've never had surgery. I've never been under anesthesiologist, under anesthesiologist, whatever that word is. I've never done, um, had to deal with any of that stuff. Even when I go to the dentist and get like my teeth, got my wisdom teeth pulled and all the other stuff, I'm up because I don't trust them. Like, have y'all ever seen that movie on that, um, Lifetime it was a long time ago? I woke up pregnant, hell to the no. You ain't about to be copping no fucking feel on me. But, um, yeah, so I was nervous. So, like, my mom came down. They explained to me. I did my research on the Internet. I talked to a friend who was also a, um, she's a gynecologist, and she was just like, it's a very common, sur oh, OBGYN. She's like, it's a very common surgery. You'll be okay. It is a little scary, but trust me, you'll be okay. Um, that did more research apparently is very common especially in especially in black women um there there are different types of the surgery but my um 
doctor wanted me to get a mild mastectomy was basically they cut you on your bikini line where basically like you're having a c-section they open you up they go in your uterus and they remove the fibroid the fibroid that i had they, he said he found a little tiny one and then he found one the size of a baseball which shit is big and it, it it explained a lot it explained it was pushing on my bladder which explained why i was peeing so much because i just thought i was just you know drinking a lot of damn water nope this is like i only really need i had these little marks on my face from um pimples i didn't even bust them and they still left left the mark and this this foundation stick is bomb um the fibroid was resting on my bladder it was crazy because i did that's what was causing like me to pee every 15 minutes it was resting on my blood pushing on my bladder not resting it, that bitch was pushing on my bladder it was um Where's that? I'm gonna go ahead and just use the concealer. Um, it was pushing on my bladder. It was causing me. I thought I was just gaining weight. I'm not gonna use a lot of concealer because this this looks pretty. Yeah. It was pushing on my bladder. It was causing weight gain in my belly area. The whole time I thought I was just y'all. If you see my haven't seen my hauls, you know I've talked about my stomach and how I've gained weight. It wasn't the, um, it wasn't, well, it was a little bit of me getting away because, you know, you girl like to eat. Um, it was the fibroid that was making me look semi-pregnant. It was the, um, fibroid that was making me look pregnant and making me gain, look like I gained a lot of weight. And I was like, oh, I really just thought I was gaining weight. They're like, no, the fibroid makes you look like you're pregnant when you're not. And um, I was like, oh my goodness. And then um, it was also causing my back pains. I had back pains for years and I really just thought it was from me commuting. The last year of my grad school, I commuted um, back and forth from Philadelphia three days out the week from Philadelphia to New York on the Bolt Bus. If you lived in that er live in that area or other areas, Bolt Bus might be other places. You know exactly what the damn Bolt Bus is. So that's like two, two and a half hours, three days out the week on the bus. So I really thought the back pains were from commuting, sitting on that damn bus because it's not comfortable. But you know, I had to do what I got to do. And um, so my, that was in 2014. So I just really thought that that's what it was whole time nope it's the fibroid disrespecting my body and I go and get my regular checkups I go every year and get my regular checkups it's just it's something they don't check for they don't check for it I'm just gonna go ahead and use this my foundation brush to um blend out my contour too but anyways I had my surgery September 14th the day after my birthday so that kind of sucked but you know whatever uh this week five so i've been recovering for five five weeks so far that was a disaster stuff they don't tell you like they make you walk around the gas you blowing through that little tubey thing oh but um i'm recovering i'm still a little slow I thought the swelling was going down and I had like a lot of energy so my dumb ass was dancing around my house listening to some soca preparing myself for carnival 19 hurt myself swelling started up again I'm like girl if you don't sit your ass down calm down honey put a little bit more here but um they say it's like six weeks recovery time so that means this i've been out of work for five weeks six weeks i'll go back in a couple of weeks but i needed this rest i just the recovery the walking was hard i live on the third floor of my apartment complex so i wasn't going nowhere the stairs was hard my mother gave me a pillow to walk up <laughs> the stairs to hold over my stomach as I walked up the stairs but just wanted to share that with you guys 
basically listen to your bodies if something ain't right oh and another reason why i elected to get this to get the surgery because some women can live with it but unfortunately with me the size of it it would have caused a lot of issues when i was when i not anytime soon would try to have a baby in the future because the fibroid i think i'm saying that right feeds off of estrogen and when you're pregnant your body give, um, gives off a lot of estrogen so that would have been a problem so sh that bitch had to go get that bitch out of me she ain't supposed to be there bye but I'm like I'm semi lucky because first of all I have a job that gives you short term disability because if I did it your girl got bills shit I got I got a master's, I got student loans, <laughs> I got rent, I got bills, so. Luckily my job was able to pay me my full pay, so that was a blessing. My insurance paid for majority of it, is that shit? Oh, cha -ching. Got that bill, like, woo, honey. But basically the moral of the story is, Listen to your damn bodies. If something is not right, <laughs> listen to your body. Suck it up like I did. Go to the emergency room. Don't take no for no answer. Tell me some don't come back. Get out of here, sir. And then it's funny because there's news reports out there saying that these, a lot of times some of these doctors aren't believing black women when they say that they're in pain like we would be lying about us being in pain I know we strong but we ain't that damn strong it's a contour listen to your bodies ladies and I'm happy that we were able to um, find it now other than when I would be trying to have kids because then that would have been a disaster like is a unfortunately now I would have to have definitely have a c-section when um I do have kids in the far future but we'll worry about that then we gonna finish up the eyes going into that first color I used to blend um my crease out then I'm gonna go into that darker maroon color Another clean blending brush, just kind of like diffuse that. Hey guys, so this Makeup Revolution um, London baking powder, this shit is trash. Um, and I can I can confidently say that because this is the second time I've used it, and it's it's done this to my face with concealers that I've used in the past, like the um what is it called, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Never had any issue when I used my Sasha Buttercup or my Laura Mercier or anything else. It did the, the clumpy thing with that a couple of weeks ago. And then it did it again. So I know this is trash. I'm taking this shit back. I don't know where my receipt is, but they only sell it at Ulta. So give me a store credit. That is trash. Like, you can see. Let me zoom in. I hope you can see it. Like, my cheek area might be too damn bright but like that shit is fucked up thank god I ain't going nowhere and I'm just playing in makeup Ugh. I'm gonna try to fix it I am using the kiss lashes in so wispy number seven you can pick it up at your local beauty supply store I love kiss lashes I really like the number six for every day but um they didn't have any more so I pick up number six and number eight no number seven and number eight just to try out some different more dramatic ones I can only find these in you can find kiss at like your Walgreens and whatever but it's cheaper at the beauty supply so I really like these lashes they get they wing out so it's perfect for a look like this with my uneven wings I wasn't planning on smoking out the bottom lash, but I guess I am now. 
Y'all, this mascara, the Superhero It mascara, this is the truth. But let me put on my L'Oreal primer first, but I like that mascara. In her tear duct, I'm going to use this color right here. This is the Inglot Sparkling Dust Face Body, um, Face Eyes Body Powder, Shimmer Powder, Highlighter. Uh, look at that shimmer. I'm not flicking you off, but it works best with the middle finger, sorry. And I'm not connecting it in the middle, I'm literally just putting it at the tip of my nose and on the bridge. I'm going to line my lips with Current from MAC. And I'm going to use the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Suki, S-L-O-K-I-E. This is more of a burgundy. Yeah. Okay, so my camera died and all three of my batteries are dead and I just want to go ahead and finish this outro. I finished setting my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which is bomb and kind of helped this disaster of a powder. Um, I also put a little bit tiny more concealer on top of the part that kind of patched up and set it with my Sasha Buttercup because that's goat and I know that ain't gonna fuck it up. But um, I hope you guys like this look, this fall look that I did. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Peace.